and welcome back to my YouTube. You're talking or hearing from Alan Cook, the proud owner of Me Dion, the older, more mature, beautiful Mona Lisa. And as the world knows, is the gorgeous, most talked about painting in the world, the Mona Lisa off to the right. That's a young child. I own the painting on the left. I come across it. I've done mass massive buying in my life and uh, I didn't even know I had it for super many years. I put it in storage, didn't even have five minutes to my time. I used to work seven days a week, 12 hours a day and um, I come from a, um, a family of uh, workers. I'm going to show you where this me Dion it fits in here with her face. The horse that's right here will fit here. It also will fit here. And it just keeps moving and exactly where her hands fit. And we're going to see other things along the way, I'm sure. So let me overlay this this way we've been seeing my YouTubes. And if I put this right there, see how the little notch is? Her face fits right in and you'll see her hand way down below. Let me lock this in. Just one second. Sorry about that. I keep doing that almost every YouTube. So we got ourselves a beautiful setting today. Beautiful day. God's blessing. And I want to show you how, see how she fits right in that little notch? See that notch right here? That's a pretty good how her cheek just fits perfectly in there. Boom. And you can see how her hand fits in this notch here with the fingers. I pull it out. And you can see how her design of her hand with the design of her hand it goes. You're going to see the way he does it, it's like dot matrix. You see these little dots, how they veer like this? Then they also curve. Then they go straight up and down, and then they curve. So he figured that when you can connect the dots, it's more than dots. So you connect the dots, which are portraits, which are uh, cartoons, which are cartoons of portraits, which are alphabet letters of codes and numbers. And all these things have got calculated into them like a supercomputer that gets this image of, uh, of um, the Mona Lisa that is actually becomes um, the Mona Lisa. Now, the horse fit right on top of the horse. My horse fit exactly. And here, she's pulled away from the chin. She also sits. Her hand's here. Her hand was here. Now it's here. But it would be here, 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 here. And if I continue with all my here's, you guys would just turn me off. Because she's every single place. He was infatuated with her. He was obsessed. He was in love. He was, I don't know if he was a show-off. He may not have had one show-off in his, in his bone, but then again he may have been all show-off. But if you actually pull this up and you look at it, when you get up to, I better take the tape off. I have to work a little harder for you folks because the tape holds down the button that keeps it transferred and it just helps me on my arthritis. But um, if you see how he's right there, he would actually be up here. So I would have to pull it down, scoot it up, and you will see how his mustache hits the side of her face, his mustache, 
hits the side of her face right here, and his hat does the darkness here. Here we go again. Perfect fit. And you, you, you have to understand um, that. See her dress with the with the ruffles on his where his hand is. It fits right there in the groove in these ruffles. So these ruffles are fitting in these ruffles of these ruffles and these ruffles. That's why it's it's shadowing shadowing and from from light to darker to light to darker to light to darker. You see you see these these little ruffles? Watch she's gonna fit over there with the ruffles. See her left arm fits perfectly in her hair. And you keep moving it up and down within. And the same thing on over. She does it. Because when he serenades her he starts over here and he goes across she's not even in the room in the um, in the room in the painting and she starts look at her hand fits right in there of course she's it's going to fit right up here too because again she's everywhere but watch how some of the dots and the units of his work connects 100 percent he he, he had to be a supercomputer, obviously, to fit these exactly in his place. Look at, the, look at her face. Fits exactly, exactly in, in, in the area of the design. If you move these, they, he's molded every shadow and every fitting to put her anywhere and everywhere he wants. If you watch his nose... Watch his nose when it goes up. Fits right into the beak. Boom. One, and she fits. And then he scoots her on over. And she fits in these. In these shadows, lights and darks. And she fits right into her cheek. And, and her hands fit exactly in those units. That's why I had a hard time originally wondering, where's the bridge? If you look off to the, to her left, which is her right, is a bridge. I found it four or five times, but it has not come up super, super clear. It's really hard because even on my own images of my x-rays, in which I have, what, what happens is, is they start at a certain thinness, and then they thicken up, and then they, uh, they have shadows within them. So what you see here on top, Maybe um, a half blur or a half turn when you get to the x-ray. And you know it's there, but it's the beginning of it. So, which is understandable. And when you get him in the right spot, if you look at his doily, how it lines up with the mountain angles. See, if I, if I put this right here. You see these angles right here? Let me just continue. Look at these. Look at these shadow angles. And then don't forget that I showed you the S, which is the backwards 5S. Technically there's a light, I mean a light 5 coming on down like this with a backwards S and then it's a C. And he has it over in here. This is where which is everywhere because it's in different shadows again. He puts that I haven't, I haven't seen the guy not drive me nuts in the sense of what he's doing with his images. But, should be. He puts the dots in. Okay, there, look at his hand. We're gonna change something. See his hand, where it is? See it on the angle? Now watch. There it is. There's his hand. His arm and hand. His arm and hand. 
sometimes he gives you a really big sign and sometimes he don't I think there was a commercial what was that anyway so and he will turn things into horses you turn anything into anything but he gives you the, the the one sign and then he keeps leading on more and more I want to let you know I'm going to keep trying. I think I'm on my 12th YouTube today. Today. Um, and I'm just trying to get my energy from uh, dinner. And I'm, I'm trying to figure out, uh, since the pixels that I discussed in one of my YouTube, these little white little pixels, which these are images of portraits. See? This is one of his portraits, which is within the matrix dots. These these are not uh, uh, something to uh, take unlikely. You can even see how further it goes. He continues it like um, a pyramid. Uh, totem pole is probably the more proper way of saying it. And... Um, didn't she uh, turn beautiful at her older age? If you don't, uh, uh, or you do want to see, go back into your childhood photos and look how big of a change you changed. You know, we we change. Uh, we are, and um, Leonardo da Vinci uh, was very fortunate. Um, way the change occurred. Uh, I want to uh, thank God for uh, his uh, magnificent blessings he has poured upon me and my followers that uh, believe in me and I hope to uh, uh, make it proud for the world that I don't make any mistakes or step on anybody uh, with the wrong word or um, insinuation or uh, perhaps I made a few mistakes but I'm only showing you what I see I've got probably 2,000 plus images of things like this that has been a hundred percent and I'm just going to continue to do uh, until uh, the day I die I want the world to know that there's other art out there besides the Mona Lisa. Now remember, there was two Mona Lisas was mentioned, and then there was a third Mona Lisa, and they can't figure out where all the Mona Lisas have gone. Now if you follow my YouTube, you would know that she actually exists in mine in the x-rays. It is hidden. Absolutely. So anyway, here we go. God bless the whole world, the universe, and the heavens. You say your prayers, please. And uh, at least I'm trying to pass the word in many ways. In Jesus' name, amen.